Hey guys, Dennis Under Magic here, and it's time for another Overlook But Awesome card, and this one is definitely awesome and somewhat overlooked because, one, it's a common, two, it's from a set that didn't sell very well from what I heard, and three, it's kind of old. So perhaps you've never heard of this, but it is called Walking Atlas, all the way from World Wake. That, of course, was in the Zendikar block, and uh, I think it was the third one, and it just wasn't that popular because, well, that's how third sets tended to go. Thank God they're getting rid of third and second sets and just making them, like, here, have landfall, here, have energy, here, have dinosaurs, just all in one, not here, have half the dinosaurs you need. That historically doesn't work. I mean, look at the sales numbers for Ixalan. Anyway, Walking Atlas is amazing because it's colorless, so you can put it in absolutely any deck, and it only costs two. It is a 1-1, one, one, but, I mean, are you really going to use it in combat? Probably not. And you can tap it, and it says you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Now, keep in mind that the whole block of Zendikar, the big thing, was Landfall, although it was a little bit different version of Landfall. Now, I could explain all day why this is awesome. I mean, cards that say you can play two lands per turn, they're awesome. Cards that artificially drop uh, lands from your hand or your library into the field are awesome. It's pretty obvious. More land lets you do more cool stuff, because now you have more mana, so you can cast better, cooler spells, and more of them. That really went without saying. Here's all the reasons that this isn't that great. Okay, so you've got half of the problem solved. The other half is, how do you get lands into your hand? Because, I mean, who says I'm running a mana ramp deck? Okay, we're going to just dump lands onto the battlefield. Cool. Um, so I've got just a handful of lands just constantly. Oh, it's turn 15, and oh, I just wish I could drop two of these lands. No, after about turn 5 or 6, you're usually completely out of lands. And then how would you draw more than one on a turn? I mean, other than a draw spell. So yeah, recurring draw or really, really big draw spells would do it, um, and then you'd be dropping extra lands onto the battlefield while also having more spells to cast. So that would be the ideal use of this, but otherwise, um, honestly, if you drop this on turn two and then by turn three, its summoning sickness is gone, you could have a semi-guaranteed double land drop on turn three. That's pretty early, so early when you have more lands in your hand mathematically, or late game when you can afford to draw, 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 this would be amazing. But otherwise, it's not quite as good as it looks on the surface, because like I said, are you going to put 30 lands in your deck just to guarantee that you just pull almost nothing but lands? And even then, you gotta pull non-lands at some point. You can't just flood yourself. Even if you can get them on the battlefield, it doesn't prevent the next card from being a land. So this is certainly half the equation, but like I said, early game it's amazing, late game it's good if you can get extra lands in your hand. So don't play it unless you can do that, and if you can, hey, go for it, this is pretty awesome. Now the other thing is you can tap it and it just says you may, and then just ignore the rest. You can just arbitrarily tap this creature for no reason. Uh, that might have some kind of infinite combo or something, I don't know. Um, maybe you have a card that says every time you play a land, untap a creature, that'd be kind of funny actually. If you could chain it with a massive amount of draw like Pull From Tomorrow, you could just play every single land in your entire deck. So it's out there, but the possibilities are really, really extensive with this. Now here's the funny thing. It's a creature construct, but not an artifact, so it's actually a little bit harder to destroy. So as long as you know how to use this and you can put it in an appropriate deck, this is just as good as it looks, but uh, don't get too nuts over it. In my opinion, the absolute best deck to put this in, and keep in mind, this is modern legal, so if you wanted to put it in something, you know, go for it. Um, probably a landfall deck with um, creatures that when they hit, you draw a card. So maybe like Bident of Thassa or, you know, something similar. There's actually a lot of effects like that, like a lot, a lot, a lot. Most of them are blue, too. In fact, some creatures just have it written right on the card, like, like uh, a lot of thief cards and rogues. In fact, there's equipment called Rogue's Gloves that does exactly this. It is too cost equipped too, though. That's a little rough. So yeah, if you end up drawing multiple cards per turn, in fact, you could just run Military Intel, which lets you, every time you swing with two or more creatures, you draw a card, you start getting these passive recurring triggers that you don't have to pay anything for that start putting cards from your library into your hand, and then you could make use of this because you could keep it going and you'd be drawing potentially, you know, two non-creature spells, or I should say creature or non-land spell, um, for every one land, but then you'd also be drawing land. So the walking atlas would be pretty nice. Now, the other thing is they're non-legendary. You could get two or three or four of these out and that would actually be pretty funny. 
And of course, in that deck scenario, you could just absolutely flood the field with creatures and they're all, you know, maybe unblockable flying or have equipment or something like that. And it just feeds, you know, the more you swing with, the more you hit with, the more you pull, which means the more you drop. And unless they board wipe you, you're good. So definitely uh, use this card responsibly, I guess I would say. Hopefully it inspired you to build a deck or put it in something. And I'll see you guys next video.